to the Kurds and the women. Thank you, Mrs. Keller, one and a half minutes. Thank you. Now and right now is really the time for the European Union to send a very clear message to Turkey, to Erdogan specifically, and we all agree that we cannot continue business as usual. But it's also a very important time right now to talk to the 49% who have voted no, despite all the threats, despite the very unfair procedure, and despite lots of people being put into jail. Our message to them has to be, we will not leave you alone. We will continue to engage with you, we'll continue to support you, and with us, I mean the European Union, but also political groups, and also us as individual citizens. And it's our responsibility as the European Union to, to use the tools that we have in our hand in order to help those people. And there's not so many tools we have in our hand, but I think there's one very important one, and that is the customs union, because that is something that Erdogan wants. So we really need to use that one tool that we have in our hand. And by using it, I mean, let's not upgrade it right now. We should not upgrade it before there's substantial improvement on human rights. Questioning the accession talk or ending it might seem like the easy answer, the, the rapid answer, but easy doesn't mean it's right or effective. I think this will only help Erdogan and it will close the door to people we want to support. Let's trade the symbolism for real action. The real action is in the customs union. So friends in Turkey, we will not forget you in these dark times. Sizliyiz arkadaşlar, demokrasi için hep beraber çalışacağız. Thank you. Merci, Monsieur Castaldo. Thank you, Mr. Castaldo, on behalf of the EFDD, for one minute. Grazie, Presidente. Una Thank you, President. A victory, 51 percent, with when you've got two and a half million um, contested votes, 